Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Cross Your Heart from Jenna Black. This is a neat one. You could, um, I can see multiple uses, multiple ways to decorate this. And it looks really cool and not too terribly difficult. All right, this one starts off with a just a cross. Trying to <laughs> see how center I get. <laughs> All right. Well, and some are long and some are short. Oh, well. Okay. After you put your place your cross, then we're going to, and actually, I'm not going to, let me start here. Um, we're going to do a series of, uh, it's kind of like two sets of C shaped curve lines and uh, in between these spokes. So starting at one. And now let me just share really quick course correction thought. If these are a little too long or a little too short, you can use this step to um, course correct a little bit. So if they were too short, um, you could, uh, using the take off and land concept, which would be to kind of trace over the line already, you could extend it a little bit and then do your two um, C shapes. Or like I think I'm gonna do right here is I'm not gonna go up too far. I'm gonna kind of start right after this and yeah. And like that not going up too high because I made these ones a little bit big but it's one of those things where you can play with it right another thing that I aim for <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't is uh, so when I'm doing this first C shape I'm aiming to line it up here just eyeballing it you know and then continuing that's that's my goal <sighs> All right, next step, we're gonna add in uh, what's called the onion dome. So starting anywhere, what we're gonna do is uh, pick one of these uh, C's and I'm gonna go halfway from one to halfway on the next one. And the onion dome is kind of an S shape. Um, for this, I'm gonna probably pull it out straight a bit. I'll have to think about it. Um, <laughs> like that. It's kind of an S shape. And so just, I like to do both sides and then to the middle. Uh, there seems like there's something else. Oh, it makes me think a little bit of the top of poke leaf. And that one I do kind of in, that one I do going up, but I can almost do it in one stroke where for whatever reason, this way, and it's like I said, it's similar. I like to do it in two. And I think especially because I'm trying to line this up. So I'm aiming for this peak to go down. Peak to go, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, to end and have it line up here. Oops, and then I wanna go halfway. That one, the pen slipped weird and it made it a little angular, but that's okay. And this one, it's just, I'm hesitating because it's like I have to think about it almost every time I do it. And that's okay. Do that, air draw, whatever it takes. And then the last one. And there we go. And so as you see, it, it it makes it a neat flowery type of tangle also. And I'm going to dare say, if you drew this big enough, it could turn into a, um, a reticula that you could then put other tangles in. Uh, we are going to decorate it well, in a moment. I have, have one more, one more step. And that is uh, where we have these peaks. And this way I'm looking at it right and saying the right word. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to essentially mirror this kind of curved V. And if it helps to kind of come out, you know, of that line, so the takeoff and land idea, like that, and going down. And I need to fill that in a little bit better. So just a curved line, you have it, have it kind of line up. And it depends, like some of mine have, you know, get a little bit wonky. 
and it's still and it's still okay as you can see and what we're doing is we're essentially we're making these into little hearts and some of them just depends on how they turned out um, look like they're um, like halibut underneath this and uh, for those that don't know to halibut uh, the halibut technique is the art of drawing behind and I found it it helps to kind of take off and land idea again tracing over a little bit coming down doing the same on the other so that way you kind of get a natural curve and then depending on how um, I had some well maybe it's not on this one when I was playing with it that um, where the these hearts looked like oh look at how that how neat that turned out it looks like a full heart and I'm trying to think Oh, it might have been if I didn't if I made these not so flat, but a little bit more pointed. In, in the sample, I show you. I, I'm just looking at that now, and I'm like, that's what made the difference. So if if this surface isn't so flat, but you know what? As you can see, it doesn't really matter. It looks cool. All right, now for the decorating. Do take a look at the for more inspiration link. Uh, so you'll see Jenna's step out and some other ideas for decorating. I'm going to kind of follow what she has in her step out, what I have in mine, but I'm going to modify it just a little bit because I thought this would be really neat and I, we're going to test it right here and just see how cool it is. We're going to start in the center and I'm just going to, I'm picking one of the hearts, drawing a straight line and then, so this is how she starts it. So you would do curve lines, but it has it working up where the curve line is like starting here, starting here, we're working our way up this, um, this half but I was thinking it might look neat to start and stop although you know what it does look at like maybe that is what she did hmm, now I'm not sure so I'm like starting at the same place oh I guess at some point you kind of have to do this okay and if that made no sense to you <laughs> that's all right so I'm starting at you know at the same point versus like right here, just because I don't want to, well, no, I guess I could trace over. Oh, that looks cool. I did it the other way on, um, on the sample I'll share in a minute. And actually I might, uh, might just do a little pause thing and I'll finish these up. But, um, see, and I, I don't want to have to trace over too much and then make it, You know really dark here and so it's just going to depend and this is all it's one of those all up to you you don't even have to do these these lines like this she had a neat one in there and I'm, I'm trying to remember what she had but you'll see it when you go look doing it this way though versus um you know maybe I'll, I'll do the other ones the other way where I'm not starting at starting and stopping at the same point. This kind of gives it an extra puffy look. I do believe. All right, and since I have one more, I'll, I'll let you suffer with me on that last one. Oh, I do want to bring that out. There we go. And let's, okay. And then we add some shading. See this kind of, because I'm going over the same point, so many times it kind of does a little bit of a built-in shade although it is nice to have this one I'm going to do like that um, the gradient that we get from using the graphite but like just like this just kind of retracing over you see how it does that okay so that is one way the second way and so the way she has it in uh, her step out is to do this on on the inside and the outside although that looks kind of cool like that or you could alternate you could leave these ones open they don't all have to be decorated the same way but this is how I saw her doing the other one where so like the first one is going from that point but then the ones after that it's just a curved line working up each side of the heart and I'm thinking it just has a little bit different look, a slightly different look. And sometimes it's neat to have that slightly different look. 
you know, in the same, on the same tangle. Mm -hmm. Neat. And then I'm also picturing, maybe for the black and white, we'll see, um, either these little parts could um, fill them in or just use the gray. We'll see. All right, so let me, let me hit pause really quick. And if you're tangling along with me, you hit pause as well. And then we will finish together. I only have three more, but, um, uh, but let me just do that. Okay, hold on one second, or be right back. All right, and there we go. And you know, it's funny because when I'm looking at it live and then I'm looking at it at the camera, on the camera, it, it doesn't look, I don't know, they both look neat, I should say. But it does need some shading to kind of do some, uh, to distinguish things. But you know what I think I'm going to do first, as I mentioned before, I'm going to color in. Let's fill in these little diamonds here that we made. And, you know, and I'll tell you what right here. See, this one is kind of squishy. So this is where we can course correct. <laughs> At least make it not as squishy. I love the course correct. And then too, I should make sure that all of my little lines have hit. <laughs> I'm either I sometimes it's either I go I go too far or just not far enough. I, I would keep working on that happy medium where my pen stops right where it's supposed to. Okay, let's shave a little bit here. That has a neat effect, filling that in. And sometimes just having that contrast, something uh, filled in solid just adds that extra bit of uh, that, that nice contrast. It adds a little bit of drama. And see, and here's another one that I can course correct just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Neat. Okay, so now let's try some graphite. Now, as I mentioned, you wouldn't necessarily have to put some here, but there's something extra nice about that gradient. And I just put it right in that dividing line. Let's go a little bit to either side like this. Oh, yes. And that just does something. <laughs> it makes it more, even more poofy. Wow. My tech, that's my technical term for today. Poofy. Look at that. How neat. And then, huh. Well, I'm debating. You know, let's try it. I'm debating. I didn't tell you what it was yet. I'm going to put some on the outside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this top, this, that first section we did, we're going to pop that above this bottom. Well, what will be look, what will end up looking like a bottom row of hearts. Okay. So I, like I said, I put graphite on the outside of that. I'm not going to bring it out too much because I don't have a lot of room here. One of those, hmm, had I thought about it this part ahead of time, I maybe would have made those a little bit bigger. But, yes, 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 you can see it already pulling itself right off of the page. And sometimes, too, if you want this to happen, it's like you want to make the gradient, but if you don't want it to come out too far. It's, it's almost like, um, you know, keeping it kind of concentrated. Wow. Wow. That just kind of makes it pop. But yeah, if I go too far, then this is just all gray. Not that that would be bad. That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. Very neat. And then if you wanted to add color. Oh. So this was, as I was playing around with it, I decided, well, let's, you know, I used uh, uh, jelly rolls, two different colors of pink. And so this one, I decided to just uh, to do the outside. I was thinking about that for this one. 
It still might look neat, but I used a darker color, so it kind of has it stand out a little bit. Oh, but what the heck, right? Let's just try it. Oh, and that's what I pointed out. So if you can, you can kind of see this is a, a bit of a fluorescentish pink. Um, but here where I have uh, the bottom hearts look more heart-ish, where these, they kind of look like they're tucked in underneath already anyway. But let's just do this. Let's put... And I, I did uh, use the graphite in that little diamond. So I'm just making a ring. Well, actually, I could go up into that. Couldn't I? Of course I could. Let's see what this does. Well, let's see what it does. I know it's going to do the same thing. I just want to see how cool it'll look with these colors. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, and make it even more, more pronounced. So fun. This part just the sh all of this just never gets old. It is so cool just to see <laughs> how neat things can look. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. When you just add some fill in, add some shading. Oh my goodness, these are cool. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, um, uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I am very appreciative of, you know, any of those that uh, that you would like to do, uh, that helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it. Uh, also, in the description section below where I have the step outs, ways to connect with me. So if you enjoyed this and you think you might want to uh, join me live sometime, I do classes every Thursday. Information is on my website. Just click on the classes slash sessions link. And um, I was just thinking... I usually keep uh, the codes to the free classes there, but uh, there are ways to, to follow me, and I think I have that on there as well. But all of the ways to connect with me are there on my website, so would love to connect with you and uh, have some fun tangling and, um, yeah, and join our, our, our wonderful community of tanglers that we have, uh, mostly on Facebook, but some, you know, as we, you know, get to know each other and we know who's on Instagram and what the, uh, you know, our... I'm going to say handle, which will date me, um, you know, is on there, you know, then, you know, we're following each other there as well. So, um, so anyway, thanks again for watching and I wish you happy tangling.